Hello, I'm Helex and this is a new series on my channel. It's a first series because so far I've been only uh, making just random videos with just minimum organization. But this is the first series called Mod Development Commentary. And what's the point of this series is to is to uh, show you some useful Java code and how I managed to get past some obstacles while programming my mods and what's gonna happen is that in each episode first I'm gonna show you the mod I'm gonna show you uh, every aspect of it everything that it contains even some little easter eggs if there are and then I'm gonna show you the code and how I managed to uh, get past those obstacles and finally I'm gonna put some useful pieces of code into uh, the video description so you can use it for your own project if you're like starting with Java or if you want to mod Minecraft and the first mod I'm gonna show is the better sprinting mod and the main challenges here was to make it compatible with Optifine and this is version 4 of better sprinting with uh, Minecraft 1.3.2 and it contains a little feature that allows you to double tap W again and there was also a little challenge because uh, I'm gonna explain it later but first when you go into controls menu you can see three new keys sneak toggle, sprint hold and sprint toggle plus there's the new allow double tap control that is just a toggle button that's not a key but it's in controls menu because if I wanted to put it somewhere else then it would probably have to do some crazy stuff so it wouldn't break compatibility with Optifine so when I hold the sprint hold key right now I'm sprinting and I can go to some uh, like obstacle or something and that would normally stop you from sprinting and you would have to double tap W again but I can just turn around and run sprint as much as I want until my hunger goes down then I stop holding and I run and uh, sorry and I walk as usual Then I press the sprint toggle key once it kinda simulates the W the double tapping W because I don't need to hold another key to sprint I can just uh, hold W or some movement keys and it just sprints even when I stop I can press W again and it'll still run when I press it again I will stop running and finally the newest feature that might be kinda cheaty but there was already a mod and it wasn't compatible with the better sprinting mod so some people wanted me to do that feature in the better sprinting mod too the toggle sneak and I press it once and I can just build without any fear of like uh, stopping holding the sneak key like being worried that keyboard fails or your fingers and you will fall down into lava so that removes that but also it allows you to type in chat or look into chests while you are sneaking so that's the cheaty aspect but um, okay my hunger is low okay after a little mass murder my hunger bar is full again and now I'll show you the last feature that was introduced in version 4 of the burst printing mod this for minecraft 1.3.2 when I press the allow double tap it says yes and I can now double tap W again and I will run like it was like you used to and it might be helpful if you're 
if you are uh, if you don't really can remember that the new layout of keys that you cannot double tap W again and a lot of people actually do it still and right after that they realize they have the better painting not installed so this is kind of solution to that but there was a little problem because the way the way Minecraft handles sprinting is that if your speed is um, above some limit there's like a limit for the walking speed and if your speed is higher higher than that then the game uh, thinks you're running because no way really you could get the speed anyhow other than by running if I don't count speed potions so what would happen is that if I held the sprint hold key or pressed the sprint toggle key after I pressed it again it would keep on sprinting forever and I would have to st um, stop walking in order to stop sprinting but now due to a little workaround that took me a few minutes to figure out I can now press the toggle sprint again or stop holding the sprint hold key and I'll stop because what happens is that after I detect that I stopped holding the key or I press the toggle sprint again I basically force Minecraft to stop sprinting for about 10 ticks and that's enough time for you to slow down below the limit and you'll stop sprinting so this is how the mod works and now let's go to Eclipse and I'll show you the code and some useful stuff hopefully so right now I'm in Eclipse and I got already opened all the four classes that are changed now briefly explain which class serves to what GUI screen is basically for loading the key bindings from a special file because um, I'll show you how I made the Optifine compatibility and it had a few problems so I had to make my own saving and loading system in a special sprint.txt file then GUI controls there this contains saving sprinting into the sprint file plus there are also a few things like making more space in the controls menu plus the special allow double tap button then entity player sp this is basically where it says to the player if you're sprinting or not and movement input from options this is a really important class because this is where uh, toggling is handled I added a new variable that indicates if you're sprinting or not and also if you press sneak toggle key this is where it gets handled so I don't have to make any more variables and do a lot of crazy stuff in the entity player SP class which is supposed to be as simple as possible so there's just one change here because I wanted to make it compatible with mods like a single player comments and with just one change here it's it's just easy to make it compatible because I don't have to change much stuff so what happens here is that I basically load the data from the sprint.txt file I declare the key bindings here and in game settings class there is an array of key bindings which is an easy way of getting all the key bindings in one place like so you can easily make um, the controls menu and this is the key so this is how I added my own key bindings to the original array so basically I made my own array with my three key bindings and then this is where the magic happens I make another array 
and I copy the original key bindings and I add my own key bindings to the array and then I just replace the original key binding array with the new one so this is how I made it compatible but the, this code gets called after the loading of all key bindings and all settings is done so this is why I need to make my own save file for sprint stuff for my three new keys so I will post this code because I think it's really useful and stuff like that you can find in like any file tutorial so I don't really need to go through that a lot in this file the only thing really is this save sprint method which saves my new key bindings into the sprint.txt file plus there are a lot of changes in x and y coordinates so there's more space than here this is really just some basic code nothing very important Bas what happens here is that if you press like the toggle key and if you're not sprinting then it makes you sprint and if you are sprinting that it will make you stop so easy and this is a mess basically this part is the new stuff that was there since version 1 to version 3 this is approximately how it worked before the new sprinting with no double tapping if I'm not counting this stuff because this stuff I added because I wanted to allow double tapping again and this part is the original code with a few tweaks here so when I stop holding the key for sprinting or if I press again the toggle sprint key here is where I force the player to not sprint so he has lower spin than this limit so this was the first episode of mod development commentary tell me your feedback and what to improve because I don't know I, I feel like the java thing is more of like some boring stuff and not a lot of you would probably enjoy it so I will probably try to make it as short as possible also I probably really suck at explaining stuff also tell me which mod would you like to see next I just want to point out that I will do only finished mods so not hardcore and the dragon mod because that, that would probably take like 40 minutes maybe because it's too complex and I'm halfway through big changes so it wouldn't really have a point explaining how it works because it, it will work completely different after a few days I released beta 8 also don't forget to subscribe for more videos or follow me or Twitter because I will I put it there like every information about my mods and progress and stuff like that maybe in future there will be like live streams I'm not sure about them but tell me your feedback on this series and what I should improve and stuff like that what did you want to see next it can be any mod even mini mods because with mini mods it's a huge amount of mods so I can have probably like 20 episodes of this if you enjoy it so thanks for watching and see you later